Welcome back to our weekly preview here at Oxnard Movement. We are going to talk about the week May 5th, actually 6th the Monday through May 12th. We got a lot going on in May, so this first little bit's dedicated to talking about some events and things that are going on in the first little bit of the month, and then we'll get into the weekly programming for next week. So this Saturday, tomorrow, we have Bring a Friend Day. There is a link to register below. If you don't register, that's totally fine. Bring your friend, come in. We have Sweet Fuel, a local company coming in Saturday morning to give us some treats as well on Saturday morning. Then the following week is May 11th. The VEA lifting meet is May 11th. On the 10th, Friday evening, the last classes are going to be 3.30 and 4.30. So those are the last two classes. After that, they'll be setting up all Friday evening. And then the meet will be all day Saturday. I'm not going to jinx it by saying that we're going to go on a hike and then have bad weather and cancel a hike. But maybe we do something outside, keep posted, and we'll see how that goes. Then May 18th, we have the clothing exchange with Coach Nikki. Lots of us have been talking about it. It's going to be a really fun time. You can bring clothes either Friday, really that whole week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Nikki will need some volunteers to help fold things. Then on Saturday, you can come and you're going to be able to pick out clothes from anything, any of the tables that we have set up, any clothes that do not get picked out on the day of, anything that's been donated, we'll take to uh, goodwill after the fact. So bring some clothes, come grab some clothes. If you want to be a volunteer for that, um, hit me up and we will let you know um, how you can be involved and help with volunteering for that event. I think Coach Nikki's got some things up her sleeve for those who want to volunteer with her. Then May 19th is actually that Sunday. There is the High Rocks race in LA. There is a ton of you that are signed up for that challenge. I'm going to put the link for the High Rocks uh, in the description for this video. I might sign up last minute. Who knows? Uh, I know we've got a lot of other runners going as well. May 25th, we are going to have our pull-up clinic with Coach Isabel. This is a super awesome clinic. If you didn't see any of our posts this last week, we just released a couple of new every month. We put out new content on our free content page for our members. Uh, we put out a six-week pull-up program. If you're a member, you get access to that. But if you're um, wanting a little bit more guidance on that program on May 20. Fifth, I believe is the last weekend, the last Saturday in May, Isabel is going to be doing a clinic on pull-ups. We are going to do the day one testing from that program, and Isabel is going to walk you through any questions that you might have. Week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, and we want to see some of you guys follow that program and go from zero pull-ups to one pull-up, your first pull-up after those six weeks. So if you want to be a part of that clinic, um, there is going to be space limited, so I'm going to put a link to sign up to that clinic down below. The next thing that we have is the MRF. It's going to come up on that coming Monday. We'll have two classes on that Monday. It's generally a really fun time. Um, we get lots of people, two classes. We get 30, 40 people at each of those classes. It's a ton of fun. Come out, have a great Memorial Day, and then go out and enjoy the rest of your day. The April challenge, last thing, we're going to talk about the challenge from April was to do those high rocks. The high rocks was Saturday morning on with Jeff. There was over 20 people who participated over the course of those four weeks. And we did a little raffle, gave away a first form drawstring bag, a t-shirt, and a pack of limit, and a our LMNT, the salts, and a sticker pack. We, um, the person who won that is Eric. Eric Castanario, you won that. Um, he has already claimed his bag, but you could be a winner for that every single month. And in the month of May, we have a push-up challenge. Guess why we have a push-up challenge? Murph. Murphs are generally the push-ups in Murph are generally the hardest part of Murph. So, what a better way to help us prep is by putting a challenge for push-ups in May. So, every 100 push-ups that you do you can give yourself a mark. Those push-ups have to be done in a day. So I can't say, oh, I did 50 push-ups today and 50 push-ups tomorrow. Give me a, a check mark. No, those 100 push-ups have to be done in a single day. And you don't, you can't put, 
more than 100 push-ups. So you can't say, oh, I did 300 push-ups in a day. I'm going to give myself three marks. It's either 100 or nothing for each day. So you have an opportunity to get 3,100, 3,100 push-ups throughout the course of May. We've already got people well on their challenge. So if you haven't done your 100 push-ups yet, do your 100 push-ups, put your name on the board, get some uh, entries into that raffle for May. Uh, the last thing that we'll talk about is we got some more traction from the Ragnar race. There may only be one or two slots left um, for this is in October, but those slots went quick. Um, so if you're wanting more info, I've included a link. You will also get in touch with Gabe or uh, Carlos to get more information for that. Great. Now let's take a look into some programming. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. I'm putting stuff out on a regular basis. Um, make comments on here. Give me feedback. Tell me what you want to hear about. Um, this coming week, I'll be putting out a couple of videos about some services that we have that you might not know about. Have a good weekend. I'll include links for uh, the podcast as well as far as the online store and our free content page. If you're a member and you want some free content, We've got a page that's dedicated for you. If you don't know what the password for that page is, let me know, send me a DM, send me an email, and I will give you the password for that page. And I'm putting content in that, that uh, group every single month. Lots of great stuff in there. Have a great one, guys. We'll see you next week. All right, so a quick little overview on what our strength cycle is. This is week five of our strength cycle, and I'll kind of go through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday on what we got going on. On Monday, we've got Murph prep again. On Tuesday, we're going to do some three position squat snatches. Um, we've been doing a lot of drilling and it's been really, really good for a lot of you as members. Uh, so Tuesday is going to be some three position squat snatch drills. Uh, day three will be our Wednesday will be our bodybuilding functional pump and it's going to be a lower body push. So looking forward to that on Wednesday. Day four, which is going to be Thursday. Again, Thursday was a week that we didn't want to miss this last week. And those who did make it made some great progress with snatches, made some really good breakthroughs for several of our athletes. Big shout out to Alex Lopez, who made a massive change in his snatch. It's going to be a game changer for him um, as he starts going back up in weights. We're going to do a very similar thing with cleans this week. So it's going to be uh, the EMOM. Um, for 15 minutes, basically five power cleans, three power cleans, one power clean, five sets, five sets, five sets. Then Friday, we have nothing, um, other than our really fun partner workout. So let's dive into each of these days. All right. On Monday, we have our Murph prep, which is named Dolly Parton. It is a 30 minute AMRAP of a 400 meter run followed by five rounds of strict Cindy. That means one full round is a 400 meters and then five rounds of five strict pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 squats. Hey, this might be a good day to get your 100 push-ups in. The goal here is to get six plus rounds in the 30 minutes. If we're looking for six rounds, that's one round every five minutes. That is pretty quick, pretty quick. We should be scaling this if we're not getting more than four rounds um, and maybe modifying the amount of pull-ups, push-ups, and squats that we're doing. So instead of a uh, 5, 10, 15, maybe we do a 3, 6, and 9 for air squats or uh, pull-ups, push-ups, and air squats. Maybe we're modifying down so that we can still get that full amount of rounds. Tuesday, we have that three-position snatch complex. Then we're going to go into a really fun benchmark workout called Isabel. Isabel is a very simple workout. It is 30 reps of snatches, power snatch, squat snatch, whatever you'd like, split snatch at 135.95. This is intended to be a fast benchmark workout. Our goal is somewhere between three and five minutes with a time cap at eight minutes. So the goal is not to go super heavy on this, but rather, Pick a weight that you could probably do 10 of in a row, and maybe you choose to try to bite off chunks, five, 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 five until finishing. Maybe you choose to try to do something like 12, five, five, three, three, one, 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 or you may choose to do ones right off the bat and just go quick ones. So single one, 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 one,
who are going to get under that three minute time domain at that 135.95. Love it. Let's see some fast times for Isabel this week. Wednesday is going to be our toes to bar practice day, a gymnastics day with some toes to bar. So we're going to get to do some skill work with gymnastics. And then we're going to go into an every minute on the minute for 24 minutes of a couple different movements. So you'll rotate through each of these. It'll be a 10 slash eight bike, cow bike, then 14 back rack lunges at 95, 65, and then 50 feet of broad jumps or kettlebell swings at 70, 53. The goal here is that you're taking about 30 seconds of work and getting 30 seconds of rest. 30 work, 30 rest, 30 work, 30 rest, 30 work, 30 rest. This is a lot of rounds, right? A 24 minute EMOM. That means those last few rounds, you're probably not finishing in less than that 30 second mark. That's okay. You're going to be pushing through towards the end. That's going to be a great one uh, to be a lower body pump. Then we have Thursday. And Thursday, we have that clean complex that I talked about. We did a version of it yesterday. It's a clean version today. With this, if you are somebody who struggles with technique for cleans, this is a great day to be at. Great opportunity for the coach to give you some specific adjustments so that you can get a lot of reps with some improvement, right? Hey, I have a cue. Now I'm going to work on this for several reps. Not super heavy, that moderate load, which allows us to get some really good progress making cleans. Then we have a workout called Faith Hill, and it is a bad Annie. So Annie is uh, double unders and sit-ups. Bad Annie is a version of that. So you have 100 double unders, 50 sit-ups, 80 double unders, 40 sit-ups, 60 double unders, 30 sit-ups, 40 double unders, 20 sit-ups, 20 double unders, 10 sit-ups. So twice as many double unders as you do sit-ups. This is a really fast one. We're, we're shooting for sub eight minutes for all of these. We got a time cap at 14 minutes. So after we get to practice those cleans, we're going to go into a quick double under and sit-ups workout. That's going to be a fun one. And Friday this week, we have a workout called Shania Twain, everybody's favorite. I want to feel like a woman. We have a chipper style workout with a hundred or 120 cows on the rower, followed by 80 bench press at 115 slash 75, and then 40 box jump overs at 24 slash 20 inches. This is going to be a really fun one. You're going to be going from that rower, which is going to be a pulling motion into that bench press, 80 bench press at 115.75. You cannot be doing that unbroken. So you need to be breaking that up. Uh, you may be working with a partner here and you and a partner might be switching off. You go, I go for 10 reps at a time. I'll do 10. You do 10. I do 10. You do 10. I do 10. You do 10. I think trying to get all the way up to 80 reps at 10 is going to be a very hard thing. Very good uh, way to try to approach it. Then the last one, last thing we have is those 40 box jump overs at 2420. This could be for some of you who are really good at that rebounding, a very fast finisher piece, especially because I haven't been on the rower because I've been doing bench press. So it'll be a really quick piece to finish for others. Maybe we're stepping over the box or jumping up and stepping down, jumping up and stepping down for some step overs. Target time is 14 to 16 minutes and we have a time cap at 20 minutes. I don't want any more time than 20 minutes on that. So we should be scaling and modifying both the bench weight and the amount of calories uh, completed in order to keep us in that 14 to 16 minutes. Great. Looks like a really fun week. Excited to have you guys all here and uh, looking forward to the meet this coming weekend as well.